All right, Tracy McGrady, former NBA player Tracy McGrady, was on the jump yesterday. And uh, he was asked uh, if he was playing in today's NBA in his prime, um, how would he do? And he said, uh, in his opinion, 35 to 40 points easily. Um, he mentioned the fact that in today's NBA, you shoot so many far more uh, three-pointers than you did uh, even just in his era, which was his prime, which was eh, about 15, 13 or 15 years ago. Um, the rules are set in place now that heavily favor offensive players. Um, you can't hand check at all anymore. So it's much harder for the defensive player to impede the progress of the offensive player. Um, you have to rely more on guesswork and footwork and things of that nature. Um, so he was saying, basically, you think you average 35 30 to 40 points a game. I can see him averaging, I don't know about 40, but I can see him averaging like something like what Kobe did in 2000 and uh, uh, what year was it, 2005, 2006. I can see him averaging like 35, 36, maybe even what Jordan did in 87, 37 points a game. I could possibly see something like that if he was on the right team and he – Shot about, shot the ball about 28, 29 times, um, a game or something like that. Um, yeah, I could see that. What do you guys think, man? Do you think, uh, Trace McGrady is full of shit or do you kind of agree with his assessment? You know, for that, for those who are younger, if I had to compare Trace McGrady to any player playing today, it would be Kevin Durant in his prime. The difference are that Kevin Durant is a better outside shooter than McGrady, although McGrady was decent from three. Um, I think McGrady, I'm guessing here, but I think McGrady was what, like, I you know, I don't really know his outside percentage. I, I want to say it was like 34 to 36% maybe. He was good. Uh, and today is era to be a little bit below average, but it was good for the early play then. Might be higher than that, I'm not sure. Um, I know Durant's a better outside shooter. Uh, I think McGrady is more athletic, <laughs> which is an understatement. Uh, if you ever remember him before the injuries, uh, matter of fact, I want to say in his prime he was probably considered. And I think before I say this, the second most athletic player in the NBA behind his cousin Vince Carter. Um. I guess you could say that McGrady, yeah, yeah, that's pretty much a, a good comparison. Him uh, and, and Kevin Durant, as far as a prototype back then, you know, had never seen a guard uh, being 6'8", uh, 210 with the length. You know, you never seen a guy like that before at that time in the NBA. And uh, But tell me what you guys think, man.